I'm, I'm seeing a writing on the ground and I'm seeing the word restoration. Now, please listen, listen. I know that everybody will say amen, but there are 18 people inside here and outside this prophetic word. One of the reasons why God brought you to service is because there is this plague that makes you keep losing things losing things you have lost as individuals you have lost money you have lost opportunities but my god is saying restoration that anointing 18 people i stretch my hands right now the power of god will come upon those 18 people and in a very strange way the things that have left you will begin to return in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now therefore i declare by the power of the living god everyone among the 18 people that i see that the hand of god should come upon i declare receive that impartation now help them receive that impartation now receive that impartation now for someone last year they relieved you of a job believe me when i tell you they're about to call you back it's a spiritual issue help them it's not the issue of incompetence help them please my god are you helping them so they don't injure themselves in the name of jesus everyone who manipulated the realm of the spirit for them to have relieved you i stand by the god of heaven and i declare before this week comes to an end let there be a strange restoration The Lord is showing me somebody, you are not here, but you are having breathing problem. You know how it used to be for COVID patients, but this is not COVID. This is the spirit of death that wants to take that man. He's a father in a family. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of the eternal covenant, wherever you are, whether you are watching here or connecting across the globe, in the name of Jesus, we preserve your life now. We preserve your life in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. You can take, okay, this is fine. We must learn to be sensitive to spiritual things. A spiritual man is not just one who prays and studies scripture, but you must train your organs of interacting with the realm of the spirit so that you can pick signals to know because one one response can save a person a family hallelujah bring the two people who start running out under the anointing now just hold them guide them and bring them here i want to prophesy to them i just saw an eagle when god speaks like that is because there is a grace yeah. I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Please bring them Your influence is all over me yeah yeah i am victorious i have overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious this 
woman stand up please madam the woman at the back of this man wearing glasses please tap that woman for me stand up lift your hands where you are madam i just saw oil being poured on you in the name of jesus i release you to a new level that these challenges that have plagued your life and your family they come to an end now just be patient we're getting back to the world am i wasting your time whatever shut the ears of your destiny helper so that they don't hear when the spirit beckons on them in the name of jesus again i'm seeing 11 people i know that this prayer is for everybody but by the spirit of the living god 11 people the ministry of destiny helpers have been long overdue Shabaka Tosca Divata by the anointing of the Spirit of God. I release, help them, please. Please, whether you're an usher or not, just help them so that. I'm under the shadow of your wings, your influence is all over me. I am under the shadow of your wings. I am under the shadow of your wings. hallelujah now i'm seeing the number seven there are many of you listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully there were many dimensions you once touched in the realm of the spirit but i don't know what happened to your spiritual life and you lost that dimension some of you prophetic dreams some of you revelations some of you gave god gave you the eyes that sees nothing happens ab above you that you do not see but you lost it like the hair of samson and the lord i know it's restoration but this is it's like a restoration of mantles and dimensions faces gates that were closed over you spiritually i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus all those who this prophetic word is for by the spirit of god may that fire rest upon you now may that fire at the center of water that's what i'm hearing at the center of water 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 the water of the world oh fire is burning here at the center of water a restoration is happening to your spiritual experiences god is revisiting you again ladies gentlemen all together revisiting you woe betides a man in this end time who loses his ability to see his ability to hear his ability to perceive you will be like a dead man in the spirit hallelujah please don't be tired the lord is ministering to me hear me don't feel offended by what i'm saying i'm just speaking as i'm directed there are many of you here there are people in your life that the devil is going to use to destroy you but god wants to bring that separation now for some of them they don't look like it but just believe what i'm telling you among the people within your circle there are people that the devil has planted seeds and if you are not sensitive it will destroy you in the name of jesus may the all-seeing eye of god reach into your destiny and begin to bring separations mysterious separations by the spirit
some of you even though we are not declaring a corporate fast but some of you after this meeting don't be surprised when the spirit of god gives you instructions wait upon him one day two days three days just obey as he comes because there are things where listen we're in a season where sensitivity can mean the difference between life and death sensitivity can mean the difference between tapping into what god is doing for the next season or being carnally minded and then you remain grounded allow me pray for one group of people and then we'll get back to the teaching of the word i've seen this many times this is not the first time i'm seeing it where i will see a human being in the realm of the spirit and yet not see the head or i'll see the head covered i know that every time this happens something is the glory of a man is an unveiling of what god anointed you to do and let me tell you when your glory is covered no matter what you do physically you, you will never be able to rise i want to release some people right now in the name of jesus christ even the son of the living god whether by divination by activities of witchcraft everyone here under any kind of siege where your glory your productivity the power of god that which should announce you has been hidden and covered i decree and declare be loose now Please help them. Shapakatos Kativa Latosia. Be loose now. Be loose now. And for all those who are in front here, in the name of Jesus, I declare that which has come upon you from God and by God remains permanent. And that which is inconsistent with the word of God over your life as you are free now you are free forever in Jesus name I pray